Hello besties, Sizzles Diaries here, but you can call me bestie, I mean, <laughs> welcome to another day on this African series. So today we are coming again right here live from my village Onga in Namibia where I belong. And in today's video, I want to show you how to make Namibia's most appetizing traditional pancake and as you can see the weather is kind of like it's almost going to rain it's giving me that uh, cold vibes so I know definitely for sure that the kids would want to see pancake and some moringa tea so in this video i'm going to show you how to make oshiwambo pancakes the african way stay tuned and come with me tell me how you how it's done in your in your village and maybe i can learn so this is what we need um we need millet flour but then um it must be like the white one um yeah we need millet flour like the one that's pounded fresh not the one that is pounded from the meal but at least the one that's pounded fresh it has that um that nice white color um for those ones who, who know uh, it's called in my native language Ufilawe Heke eh? Ufilawe Heke So we need this one You know in Africa We don't do measurements <laughs> So this is how my grandmother has taught me You just measure with your eyes So this is the millet flour And um we have sugar here a bit of salt and then we are going to put we are going to put um marula nuts like fresh um fresh roasted marula nuts this is what gives it a nice flavor really not the the salt and the sugar but the marula nut it just gives it such a, a depth flavor and then we are going to use vegetable oil but we are not going to use it a lot we are just going to use it to coat the pan so that um it is non-stick because traditionally in our culture our ancestors didn't really used to use a lot of cooking oil they used to use a lot of marula oil and mongongo oil yeah recently i went to a shop in my area and i saw that uh, they are now manufacturing mongongo oil in namibia for large-scale production yeah you can go to amta amta ongwe diva veg fruit and vegetable hub that is where you're going to get the mongongo oil i think it's in a 750 milliliter and it's less than a hundred dollar so if you are interested you can do that and then we'll just need another dish so what we do is we are going to combine the marula nut and the flour we are going to use a spoon This is a very popular chaldu snack. Just going to combine it well. And then the sugar and the salt, you are not going to use a lot. Because, you know, just be mindful not to give children a lot of sugar. Hey! Ovenadi would do good. And then the sugar. So let me just say, I'm just going to sprinkle, to sprinkle one, and then sprinkle two. That is enough. And then you just mix it a 
a little bit wow the sun just came out from the skies then let's just set this one here this one here so we are going to mix um, a little bit of water so besties i had to switch over to the phone i just wanted to show you guys this is the consistency you want it has almost like a consistency of oats yeah so now we are going to head over and then we are going to fry this pancake and serve it to the kids so the pan is coated in cooking oil we're just waiting for it to heat up and then put the pancake on then while we are waiting for it to cook So here the kids are coming to grab Ewa, Ewa, Tresia, Ewa. Thank you so much for watching. Until we see you in the next episode here on Sizzle's Diaries. Bye besties. <laughs> so guys i'm here with um, our little goat um it's so young it stays with us in the house uh, while its mother went feeding so what we do is we give it water <laughs> it's so friendly <laughs> hey <coughs> say hi hi besties <laughs>